there, I'm Amy Caruso, Head of Collateral Initiatives at ISDA, and I'm here with Sophie Manyakfoy, product, a Senior Director of Product Strategy at Adenza, and Kevin Kokar, from, uh, Head of Investment Funding Solutions at T. Rowe Price. And I welcome you to ISDA AGM. Thank you for being here. Um, so we're gonna talk about collateral management. And in times of market volatility, like the Dash for Cash or the LDI crisis, some things happen with collateral management, increases in margin calls and settlements. Kevin, could you start off by saying what really happens behind the scenes? Sure, absolutely, and thanks for having us as well. In terms of you know collateral, so you have stress in the market, right? You get, as you mentioned, the volume goes up for, for the margin pieces. You have large size calls that are coming in. You potentially may have sediments fails as well because you're stressing the system, right? So a lot of the manual type of processes and unscalable solutions now are stressed under these conditions, right? So this is more on the operations side, right? Then you have the funding piece, which is you know, funding from a resourcing perspective. So funding collaterals, transforming the collateral, sourcing collateral, right? And so the cost of collateral also goes up as well. So they're really different dynamics that are happening at that place. So you have the operations piece, you have liquidity you know, constraints, and you have the funding and risk constraints in the market as well. Just goes from bad to worse really quick. And Sophie? Uh, yes, well, indeed, to echo what Kevin is saying, uh, collateral clearly uh, moves to the spotlight in, in case of unexpected and, and uh, volatile market conditions, right? So it really has an impact on how the collateral management processes should change. There is this new need for agility, uh, intraday, real-time, inventory, a need to react very quickly because you will have intraday margin calls for unexpected and, and, and significant uh, volumes of collateral, right? But I think be besides and beyond this fact, that really calls for more robust and more sustainable collateral solution because you don't want to just have a survival kit when it comes to collateral, right? You want to have a solution that will give you profitability, which means you need to be able to anticipate, simulate, optimize, ideally across functions. It cannot be any more a siloed and fragmented uh, collateral solution. So I think actually the market condition are a very good waking call to maybe review the collateral landscape and maybe strategize a bit around it. So new strategies coming ahead. ISDA with our members have been working on data standards, operational practices. Um, Sophie, tell us a little bit about what's going on with the common domain model uh, from an ISDA and the DENSA perspective and how that can help firms, not only in times of market volatility, but especially in times of market volatility. <laughs> yeah, indeed, that's a great question. And I think we, we keep talking about the new challenges and the fact that we are navigating turbulent and expected waters. There is some good news though. We do have technology on our side. Technology has improved a lot. And one thing we've learned is among all the unexpected condition, there are a few things that can be uh, very solid, robust, and that can, we can build around. CDM, the common data model, is one of those pillars that we need to really build around. It's the baseline that we can rely on. It's going to allow for that digitalization interoperability that we are all looking for, it will set up that really stage for, for growth and for communication in the wide collateral ecosystem. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is, and you're shining it for sure. And Kevin, what would you like to share on <laughs> sure. so technology? Sure, so I agree with Sophie saying, it's also as a buy side participant in the market, right? Um, we're looking for automation, right? We're looking for standardization. So in the stress markets, we want to be able to focus on the automation piece, getting our margin calls out there, right? And getting the sediments process more streamlined, more efficient as well. So the CDM gives us that ability to do that as well, right? On top of that also, it also from a negotiation and collateral perspective, you can also leverage the, the schedulers, right? So your legal teams can now have more speed and um, interoperability where you can actually work with the partners to get that documentation in line sooner and quicker and faster. That's right. So with ISDA Create and then having the output digitized with the common domain model, you can stream that into your collateral management system. And there's much more to come with the common domain model, right? And many thanks to you folks for being active in our working groups.